Hey girl, hey, so I am doing a, a uh, hashtag Ask Christy. I love doing these because I actually feel like I'm interacting with you guys and, you know, telling you things you want to know. So, um, let's get started, shall we? What was your favorite scene from Frozen? You can only pick one. Um, the whole movie was my favorite scene, but, okay, I'm picking two, I'm sorry. I love the scene during Let It Go when Elsa's building the castle. It's so cool, and I also love, I, I think the scene is just like so full of emotion, I just love it. Um, the scene where inside Elsa's castle when Anna finally catches up with her and they're like arguing, like come with me, like no, stay away from me. And then like the storm is like going because of Elsa and like they're, oh, they're singing back and forth the reprise of the first time in forever and it's just such a good scene. I just love Frozen, okay. What is your zodiac sign, Gemini? Except I don't have a twin, so. What happened to your vlogs? I miss them. Yes, I know my vlogs are MIA. I haven't posted my vlog channel in so long, but I'm gonna try and start vlogging more again, so if you want to see those, you can subscribe to my vlog channel in the link down below, or you can thumbs up this video and let me know, and we can rhyme another time, and. What's your favorite book slash book series? Um, this is so difficult because I love to read and I love books, but my all-time favorite book probably is The Alchemist by Paulo Coelho. I read it in freshman English class actually and I absolutely love that book. I'd love to reread it. I think I'm going to do that soon. Um, but I just love books and I love The Hunger Games obviously and I love Divergent and all those like YA novels. Also I kind of want to do like book vlogs more like on my vlog channel just sitting down and after I read a book just like talking about it with you guys because I love discussing books after I read them so um if you are interested in that if you love to read like me then let me know if you'd like to see those and what books you'd like me to talk about and if you don't read then you should because it's wonderful will you be going to New York IMATS in April and I'm sad to say that I really don't think I'll be able to because I just have I'm missing two days of classes to go to Playlist Live. I'm going to Playlist Live, woohoo! Um, but it's just really difficult for me to miss class here and I don't think I'll be able to make it to New York IMATS. I'm not 100% sure though, but I probably will not be able to go, which is sad because I've gone every year that they've had it and this year's just not happening. But um, yeah, and I also don't think I'm gonna make it to BeautyCon New York, which is really sad, but it's right after my finals week. Literally, it's the Saturday following my finals week and I have to move out of my dorm 24 hours after my last final and I'm pretty sure my last final is Friday so I there's no way I can make it to BeautyCon. I would love to go though. Can you do a night slash morning makeup routine for school? Um, yeah I've been thinking about doing kind of you know like a bedtime routine video or something like that. Um, it's just difficult because I live in a, with another person so like filming and stuff it's just like odd. Um, yeah, so I might try and do that eventually, but no promises right now. What are you going to do after college? Um, well, immediately following college, I definitely want to do some traveling. I really just want to travel the world. Um, that's ideal, but yeah, it depends. I don't know, I just like, it's kind of sad to me to think, obviously this isn't sad because jobs are great in the economy, you know, go, go America, but I, it's kind of sad that like as soon as you get out of college people who jump into jobs and then they're working full time and then their life is just like that forever and it's just like I want to travel, I want to experience new things and it's hard while I'm in college. I'm going to study abroad though which yeah that's going to be good um, but I definitely want to do as much traveling as I can after I graduate before you know I settle down with a job but if you're asking like what I want to do with my life I would love to work in the UN ideally. Do you love me? Yes I love you. I love you all. How many pictures do you have on your phone? Oh god, my phone is like almost out of space. It tells me that every day, but I have currently 1,731 pictures on my phone. At what age would you like to be married? Um, oh, oh, I just almost puked in my mouth. Not that I'm against marriage, but um, I am not the sort of person that plans out my life whatsoever. I don't want to think, I don't have a timeline like, okay, by this age, if I'm not married, I'm going to be a really sad person. Like, no, I'm just going to, you know, take life as it comes, go with the flow, roll with the punches, whatever you want to say. Um, and I'm not going to plan out these things. Like, when it happens, it's going to happen, and I'm not going to be disappointed if I'm 40 and I'm not married. Like, if that's how it goes, whatever. We have the same thumbs. Does that make me great or great? Pretty great. Thumbs up for you. <laughs> okay. What are your plans for the stum- the <laughs> stummer? What? What are your plans for the summer? Are you staying in California? Um, yeah, the thing is, is I'm supposed to send in a survey saying what weeks I'll be working at my summer camp that I always work at 
in less than a week and I have absolutely no idea because my summer I don't have any plans right now. I want to go back to camp, I want to work there, but I don't know when and I want to take Spanish online because I don't want to be behind um, and I don't know when I'll be able to do that and I want to stay in California for part of it and just like live here for a little bit because like we're getting a 12 month lease for our apartment next year so we'll have it for the summer so I'd love to live here for part of the summer too but I don't know when or how long or anything so my summer is just like not not I don't know what's going on happy birthday Jenna I hope it's amazing what's your favorite kind of candy um I'm a big fan of Swedish fish if you had to choose between Dylan O'Brien or Zac Efron who would you choose I don't think I can choose. This is a very difficult decision. Probably the hardest I've ever had to make. Um, but they're just so different. I just love them both. I'm, I can't choose. If you're stranded on an island and you can only have three items, what would they be? Let's see. Unlimited supply of fresh water, a plane, and a manual on how to fly a plane and land a plane. That'd be helpful too. Are you going to play this live? Yes, I am. I already said that. I'm so excited. I'm staying with Monica Shelby and Meg DeAngelis, and we're gonna have so much fun. Are you happy with your college choice? Yes, completely, 100%. Um, which was one of my biggest fears coming here is that I would come here and realize that it wasn't the place for me, but I am in love with it, and honestly, that's when you just like have to go with your gut feeling. If you're looking into colleges right now, don't go somewhere because of the name, because I almost did. Don't go somewhere because your friends are going there. Go somewhere because when you feel, when you go to campus for the first time, you see yourself there and you want to be there and that's like, you feel comfortable already. That's where you should go because it's been completely worth it for me. I talked about it in a video a long time ago. Um, I don't remember what the question was or anything, but um, I mentioned how I almost went to UCLA and a ton of people were saying like, that's my dream school, like how could you give it up? Why would you choose to not go to UCLA? And that's exactly why, is that I loved UCLA, it's a beautiful place, but it's just too big and I just didn't feel as at home as I did here at Chapman and I think that's really what you have to go with because it's more important to go somewhere that you're going to be happy than somewhere that is more prestigious, I think. Um, and I was a little, really caught up in the prestigious thing and that's why I didn't go to UCLA. Um, and honestly, I just, I'm so much happier here than I think I would be there. Um, but yeah, so that's why I didn't go to UCLA. Also, I got a really good scholarship here. I know that's like a superficial, not superficial, it's very relevant actually. Um, and I, I'm out of state, so I can't get any money to UCLA and out of state tuition's insane. So there's that too. After college, are you going to move back to Oregon or stay in Orange County? Actually, I don't think I'm going to do either. I really want to live in New York when I'm older, so... Well, after college, I want to travel, like I said. But after that, I'd love to live in New York City. So, completely different from LA and completely different from Oregon. Have you let go of let it go? I'm so curious. No, I will never let it go. The cold never bothered me anyway. Okay, my the last one I'm going to answer is from Orly. Love Nectar 13. Shout out to you. Um, she says, if you could date Zac Efron, but in exchange delete Frozen from your memory, would you? Yes, because then I could watch it for the first time with Zac Efron and we could sing Let It Go together. Yeah, it would be a great day. I would love to watch Frozen for the first time again. <laughs> I have so many more questions that I'd love to answer, but um, I'm getting a lot of good questions today, but I can't because this video is already 15 minutes long. So thank you so much for anyone that asked me questions. This was, I love doing Q&A videos. They're so much fun. Um, I think I might do, like start doing them a lot more on like my vlog channel and stuff too, because I just love filming Q&A videos. But thank you for anyone who asked me questions. Thank you if you're watching this. Thank you if you are on the planet because you're you and you're awesome. So thanks for watching. I love you guys and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Bye.